Hey guys, welcome back to another installment of Ableton Online. We are moving on up to lesson three. Thanks for sticking with us through lesson two, through some of the tedious uh, intricacies of uh, Ableton's preference in window. Now we're going to get into some more fun stuff, uh, making some music and learning the difference between audio and MIDI at the base level of each. Um, so the easiest way to describe the difference between audio and MIDI um, is to start with the two track types in Ableton Live. So obviously, if you go to the create menu up here, you've got two options for tracks that will play back content, that will play back sound. And that sound could be anything from drums to a synth line to pads to bass to a vocal um, to just a random sample. Um, the major difference between audio and MIDI is that audio is already printed to an, a waveform, whether that be a .wav or a wave file or a .aif, an A file. So if I went to samples, all of these are audio files, okay? MIDI is very simply note input from a either a MIDI keyboard like this one right here. Um, if I were to arm this track, you can see that I've got MIDI input represented by these dots right here. Um, and MIDI input is just a input, how long I'm pressing down the key and when I'm letting up on the key. So it's basically when the velocity, how hard, how long I'm holding it down, and then when I'm letting the key off. That's all MIDI is. MIDI is simply a set of digital information that is used to trigger something like a synthesizer or a sampler or a, any uh, of a multitude of software instruments. So for instance, if I were to take a loop, let's just pull up another drum loop here. Kind of like that, drag that in here. Uh, and to trigger this, it is an audio loop. You can tell because there is a waveform down here in the clip view of Ableton, okay? So if you ever have any doubt as to whether something is MIDI or audio, Ableton will default name the tracks audio MIDI, but let's say this was named uh, drum loop and this was named uh, synth lead, okay? And you had no way of telling right from the jump whether this was audio or MIDI in each one of these clips or whether uh, each track was an audio track or a MIDI track, the surefire way of knowing is to double click on the clip and look at the clip view area down here, okay? So on an audio track, clip view is gonna show an audio waveform. On a MIDI track, it's gonna show piano roll. And piano roll is again, for the input of signals. So if I hit C3, you can see it's picking up the input here. And when I hold the key down, it's red. When I let up, it goes white again. So if I play a chord, you can see C minor chord there. So MIDI is just used to trigger something else, some, some other uh, instrument, some other device, some other software synthesizer. Um, and that can be, like I said, anything from uh, a drum kit or a drum rack um, to any of a number of instruments that are already included with Ableton Live or third-party audio units or VSTs. So to get started here, um, I have this drum loop. Pretty great, okay. And I'm just gonna grab a bass tone here. Great. So when I drop that onto a MIDI track, this .adg is an actual device. It's an instrument. 
Okay, and now that this track is armed down here, I can now play out. I can play out using the keyboard MIDI data, which as you can tell in this effect chain, MIDI data is represented by these dots and audio data is represented by these two volume faders. So MIDI data is coming in from the MIDI keyboard into Ableton into this channel via MIDI data, hitting this instrument right here, okay? And the instrument is translating those notes, that MIDI input into an audio output, which then is going through the track output, okay? So the simplest way to program MIDI data is to grab your pencil tool up here, okay, and draw in some notes. I'm gonna change my length of my loop very quick. So that's the basic difference between audio, as you can see represented here by this waveform, and MIDI, as you can see represented here by notes in the piano roll, okay? Click the pencil tool off. So a quick note about the way that Ableton's audio engine works is that the browser here is gonna be your best friend, okay? Just a quick introduction to this. We'll shed some light on what I'm talking about here. So I have this, uh, this, this loop playing here. And if I wanna see how other loops are gonna sound in context with what I already have going here, this composition I have going, all I simply have to do is press play and then click through some other loops. and they will play perfectly in time with the composition I already have going, according to this BPM up here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and drag that in because I like the way that sounds, but I'm gonna turn it down a little bit and I'm gonna keep going. Sounds decent enough, there we go. And now I'm gonna cue up Scene one here. So as you can see, the workflow in Ableton Live is incredibly fluid. Um, if you have loops already put together, it really, really speeds up your workflow to be able to just fly through them and have them automatically BPM shifted into your session's current master BPM up here, no matter what that might be. Um, and so finding audio loops and seeing whether they're gonna fit with your composition, demoing them out, is incredibly fluid and incredibly uh, efficient and quick. So we've talked about audio loops and how they can be demoed and brought into a, an Ableton session. Uh, what we haven't talked about are audio one-shots. Um, and the main difference between an audio loop and an audio one-shot is that an audio loop is going to be a pre-made arrangement of 
instrumentation. So it's gonna be a loop of audio content, whereas a one shot is going to be a perfect example. That hat is a one shot because it's just a single WAV file or a file hit. It's a one shot, it's a single shot of a, um, of a sample. So one of the things we can do is we can, obviously we can grab a loop and drag it into this empty space where it says uh, drag files and devices here. We can always drag um, any drum loop, um, any sound really, any device, um, any instrument, um, into this space and it will create a new track of the appropriate track type. So if you drag an audio loop in, it'll make a new audio track. If you drag a, uh, let's say a, a, a bass patch, for example, um, which is going to be MIDI based, um, it's gonna create a new MIDI track. And you can tell because, again, just look for the dots. Um, and also this is an instrument. Um, and it has a record enable action at the bottom. Um, and because, again, going back to our audio preferences, we don't have any audio device inputs yet, only MIDI tracks up to this point will be record enabled. So they will give you the option right here to enable them to be recorded onto. So up until this point, those are only gonna be MIDI tracks, okay? Turn that down a bit, that's really loud. This one too, I don't even know what this is. Let's go ahead and delete that. So, one way we can actually use audio with MIDI um, is we can use a drum rack. So I can drag a drum rack in, um, or uh, another one of Ableton's instruments like Impulse, um, which is kind of like uh, a drum rack light. Um, it just gives you eight sample slots. Um, and I can pull in individual samples. Let's say I wanna pull that one in there. I'm just randomly pulling these in now just to, just to give you an example. Just grab a couple of kicks here. There we go. Let's get maybe a snare or something. There we go. So now, turn that down as well. Always make sure you're gain staging. Just another side note. So now what I can do is, add some MIDI there, and now I am using MIDI to trigger one-shot audio. So, again, I can play this in, or I can simply go and grab my pencil tool up here and just draw this in on beat. Again, if I enable this preview headphones icon, I can go ahead and Shorten this loop up just a little bit so I don't have to deal with so much here. And make this kind of ridiculous just, just to illustrate the point here of using MIDI and audio. Offbeat symbol here. So, as you can see, we are taking one-shot audio samples, dropping them into an instrument in Ableton, like Impulse, 
could ju just as easily easily have been done with a drum rack um, just by dragging and dropping sample onto there and triggering it on a MIDI clip. So the possibilities are there um, and that is the main difference. Now, again, I'm using mostly drums here, but just to reiterate, um, MIDI can trigger any instrument, whether that be a, uh, a software synthesizer, uh, an Ableton device, uh, a drum rack, a sampler, um, anything that's gonna produce audio using MIDI input. Um, that's what's gonna be on a MIDI track. That's an instrument. Um, whereas audio is gonna be something that is already locked into a waveform. So at some point, um, if you reverse engineer this, somebody MIDI programmed this drum loop as a series of individual one shots and played them out in a certain way and then printed them or bounced them or rendered them into this loop specifically right here. So there you have it. There's audio and MIDI in Ableton. That's lesson three. Thanks for hanging with us. Coming back at you in lesson four with some of Live's overall concepts. See you then.